Hello everyone, Royal Enfield not only launched the newest Himalayan, but also showcased the Shotgun 650. This cruiser style motorbike is a new variant with a Royal Enfield 650 seat twin engine. And what the motorbike is like, let's discuss. Uh, the 650 shotgun on display is a limited edition. The color was modified from the factory and there are only 25 units. As you can see, the color is a combination of black and light blue hand painted. Hours in the future, the production version will of course be simpler in color and like the one on display. Um, but at least you can see what the Shotgun 650 looks like. The Shotgun 650 is powered by a 649cc air haul cooled parallel twin cylinder engine producing 47 bhp of power and 52 newton meters of torque mated to a six speed gearbox. It is not yet known whether he has reset the engine or not. The undercarriage sector has also been revised, such as the suspension settings being changed due to the different tire sizes of the Super Meteor. The bench will use a Fillion model that can be removed for the Fillion. In terms of design, this shotgun is more of a roadster. The rear fender is short and it uses bar and mirrors. This is different from the Super Meteor, which has a retro cruiser model. The other difference with the Super Meteor is that the shotgun has a more upright driving position, which can be seen from the position of the footrest. Super Meteor is positioned slightly to the front, while Shotgun is more in the middle or neutral. The bike is equipped with bespoke, genuine Royal Enfield motorcycle accessories such as rear view mirror and black lead indicators. Additionally, this limited edition motorcycle will be offered with an extended warranty and RSA service. We believe the regular mass market variant will be uh, launched soon after the launch of this special edition version in January 2024. It will be priced more aggressively and will be available in multiple variants and color options. So what do you think about um, the new shock bike from Royal Enfield? Let us know in the comment section below.